Hi friends, today we will discuss accounting entries in banks related to savings account, current account transactions. So, when a bank doing certain transactions with the savings bank account, current account, some ledgers will be impacted, some accounts will be impacted. So, today we will discuss when you do a particular transaction, how these accounting entries or general ledger entries will be impacted. So, first transaction is cash withdrawal from savings bank account, same branch. So, customer is doing a cash withdrawal transaction in his own branch. For example, he has opened account in Banjara Hills and is performing transaction in Banjara Hills only. Then, what type of general ledger entries will be happened in this branch. So, cash withdrawal from savings bank account. So, what happens? First, your savings bank account will be debited with 10,000 rupees example. So, account will be debited and your general ledger will be liability will be debited and credit will be cash. So, asset will be credited. So, for example, customer is withdrawing then your cash balance will be decreased always asset will be in debit balance when you credit automatically balance will be reduced cash deposit to savings bank account same branch customer is doing cash deposit in same branch for his own account then debit will be asset because cash deposit means you have to increase the cash balance so always asset will be in debit you want to increase the balance once again you have to debit and credit the savings bank account because you have to increase the customer account balance so accounting entries and general ledger entries general ledger entries will be your asset will be debited and your liabilities will be credited for example cash withdrawal from savings account from different branch. So, customer belongs to other branch and is coming to the different branch and is doing a transaction. So, same. So, cash withdrawal means we have to credit the asset because we have to reduce the balance. Then you have to debit the savings bank account because you have to reduce the customer balance. Then inter-branch transactions will be happened. One will be for the account branch where the, where the account is opened. And second one will be where the transaction is happening, you have to use the interbranch transaction. One will be debited and another one will be credited. Same way cash deposit to a savings bank account, different branch. So, one is cash deposit means liability will be credited in account branch, savings account will be credited and you have to increase the cash balance. So, always asset cash will be in debit if you want to increase once again you have to debit then inter branch one will be debited and another one will be credited cash withdrawal from savings bank account different branch if the charges are there so same thing when you doing withdrawal you have to credit the asset because to, because you have to decrease the balance and you will debit the savings bank account because balance should be reduced then interbranch account debit and credit and charges will be taken from the savings bank account. So, savings bank liability will be debited 100 rupees and income will be credited 100 rupees. Cash withdrawal from current account same branch. So, same thing only change is cash withdrawal you have to credit the asset because you have to reduce the balance and you have to reduce the current account customer balance. So, you have to debit the liability and customer account. Same way cash deposit to current account. So, debit the asset and credit the current account because while debiting you will increase the cash balance because cash deposit means cash is coming to the branch. You have to increase the asset and you have to increase the liability customer current account and our liability also. So, we are crediting current account, customer current account and liability general ledger. Fund transfer from savings account to current account same branch. So, you will debit the savings bank account, you will credit the current account. Both are liability general ledgers only. 
one same ledger will be debited and credited. Fund transfer from savings to fixed deposit. So debit the customer account. It may be savings or current. So it is a liability. Credit to fixed deposit account. Fixed deposit also a liability. So ledger liability ledger will be credited. Fund transfer from savings to loan account, same branch. So it may be customer account, may be savings or current. It is a liability. It will be debited and credit to a loan because loan is asset and balance. You have to reduce. So any asset you want to reduce the balance, then you have to credit. Fund transfer savings to current account, different branch. So one savings account will be debited, another. Current account will be credited. Both are liability only, but interbranch transactions will be happen. One will be the transaction branch. Another one will be account holding branch. Miscellaneous debit from savings bank account same branch. So debit savings bank account liability and is a charges. It will be income for the bank. So will credit the income ledger. Miscellaneous credit to savings bank account. So credit to savings account, it will be increased and debit will be like charges. It will be debited from income and it will be paid to the savings bank account. Bill payment transfer when a customer requested to pay bill from his account. So savings account will be debited and it will be credited to the bill pay account it may be airtel or it may be bsnl this will be credited and after that this amount will be given to the service provider fund transfer from gl to savings account any gl you can debit and you can credit to the savings bank account savings bank account will be liability so debit will be depend on the general ledger it may be income expenditure it may be asset liability cash withdrawal savings account closure so customer is closing the savings bank account and is withdrawing the money debit the savings bank account for the outstanding balance and debit the interest expenses because we have to pay the interest on the balance holding by the customer so that will be debited and credit to the cash because when your cash send your cash is giving to the customer you have to reduce the cash so cash is asset you want to reduce the cash balance, you have to credit. Transfer to another account, savings account closure, same branch. So you are closing bank account and transferring to another account. So you are closing savings bank account and balance amount will be debited and whatever the expenses because we have to pay the interest that will be debited and credit to the current account. Miscellaneous debit savings account insurance premium same branch. So savings account liability will be debited and credited to the insurance premium GL. It is a liability because we will debit the insurance premium GL and it will be DD will be issued to the service provider. Maybe LIC or Max Life whatever. Miscellaneous debit from savings bank account legal fee same branch. So maybe while giving a loan or any other purpose, customer has to pay the legal charges, then savings account will be debited liability and legal charges, it is an income, it will be credited. Miscellaneous debit savings bank account charges and GST with GST and charges. So savings bank account will be debited with charges plus GST, then charges will be credited to income and GST will be credited to, to GST payable account, it is a liability and every month these amount will be transferred to government. GST payment to government, yes, whatever the amount credited to the GST payable that will be debited and credited to the demand draft or pay order, this account will be credited. Savings account interest accrual, so when interest is accrual, debit the expenses and Credit the interest payable. Interest payable is a liability. SB interest is a expenses. So when this interest is credited to customer account, 
So, already we have kept it in the interest payable that will be debited and credited to the savings bank account. Savings bank account is a liability. Thank you friends. If you like my video, please subscribe. If you have any doubts, please call me or send me a message.